Today, students, we are just going to start in this session the new chapter that is of class eight. It is of class eight. Crop production and management. Students, here the one word term that is what is crop? Crop. Who? That is who produces? Who produces crop? This is the big question comes students in our mind. If I am talking about the students who produces the crop, definitely there is some person who is working in the field. That is a farmer. Students, that is farmer. Students, what is a farmer? A person who cultivated land or crops. That is called farmer. If the person always you have seen students in the village area, the one person is working this uh, particular work of the agricultural work in the field that is called students uh, farmer. A person who is just producing the variety of uh, food items like crops, like the vegetables, like the fruits, the students that is a, a farmer. So this person is working definitely students. If he is just doing the work in the field, he is required the tool. That tools. Without tools, he cannot produce that uh, uh, particular uh, crops or anything. Students, if I am talking about that, what are the tools? So many things comes in our mind. That is could be. Okay, students, could be soils, soils and plug. Plug. So these are the some etc. These are the some tools which are going to be used by farm. Students, if I am talking about this kurpi, kurpi is a short handled cutting tools with a flat blade. So you have seen in the field sometime this type of the tools. You have seen the students. This is basically. The person saw the handle. This is the blade. This is the blade, and this is the wooden handle. Wooden handle. Student, this wooden handle is the cutting tool with a flat blade, which is basically used for removing the small, small weeds from the field. Sickle students, if I am talking about the sickles, the one thing comes in our mind that is the uh, sickles. Students, so. This type of this thing is a sickle. So there are so many different tools students they are just using for digging the field, for digging the field or for lifting something materials or something like you have seen. That is called students. That is called so this type of the things is called. That is the soils, students. Or for loosening the soil, whatever we are losing, that is uh, called plug. So, students, these are the some tools which are used by the farmers. Students, one thing I want to tell you: this farmer is a person who is a very important person who is just going to provide a different type of the crops. Here, students, many things I am telling you at your home. The gardener, the gardener is just using a one pot, two pot. In that, he is just producing that different type of the plant. Right, students. Right. So in this students you have seen, this is not called the crop production. This is the small thing gardener is just going to use. That is for your ornamental plants. Ornamental plants is using. Students you have seen about that our India, our country, our country, India is having a very vast population. 
population students so this population need a food and that food why they required a food students because of that the food gives us energy it is a need of the survival if you want to be survive in this world that time you require this food food gives us energy why are our students i am talking about that all the living organisms all the living organisms are required the food students it is a necessary and you are knowing that this food why it is required why the nutritional food is required obviously you know that our body need some nutrients some good food to make our body strong so that we can do the some work we can fight with the deficiencies diseases we can play we can write we can do each and every part students so one thing i want to tell you this food we are getting through the crops so here what is the function i have already discussed about so gardeners and farmer so what happens the big field the big field they are just developing the same kind of the plant like wheat like rice like pulses so that is the big field so in the big field students if i am just doing the production of this uh, plant that is called crops and for this who is working for this the farmer is the responsible to do the work in the land and this work is called agricultural work agri culture work students you have seen this is a very very important to understand about what is the crop what is the plant students crop means that is the same kind of same kind of the plant we are producing into the big area this field you are going to say is spread this is the big field where the same kind of either it is the wheat either it is the rice either it is the pulses but in your house also you have seen the some pot you are putting a plant this plant you are putting into the pot but this is not a crop this is not a crop but this crop you are using for eating so it is the edible product edible products you are getting from this field from this field so this is called crops so students if i am talking about that what is this the some how you have seen the some animal some how it is seen that uh, some plant those are the sources of the food i think students it is clear the farmer working in the large big area field and the gardeners are working in a small area or in your garden so that is the garden but you know we are living in our country and our country india is having a very vast population and they require food so they require food for that reason we have to use the different type of techniques that techniques we will study student in this chapter i hope that this crop is clear students if i am talking about what are the sources of this food so in our mind it definitely comes that is a plant as well as animal so students if i am talking about the sources of food so in our mind it comes that is one is plant and second one is animal and Straight sources of the food, the plant or animal. So whenever we are rearing, rearing of animal, that is called animal husband. Okay, students, that is called animal husband. You are take care. You are just uh, for the egg. You are opening the poultry farm. For the milk, you are just rearing the cow or 
some hen you are putting. So that is a different different form house you are going to care about that animals. So what happens? Ultimately, this animal are depend on the students depend on and after that the all human beings all the populations are depends on both so if you are just taking cow gives us milk hen gives us egg so this is also the edible product edible product so students i have already said about that what is the edible product the product what we eat that is called edible product animal or human beings are depends on that plant so that is called heterotrophs and this plant is called autotroph the students you know that plants makes their food by photosynthesis so this is autotroph and this animals are depends on this plant so that is called heterotrophs so students you know the autotroph and heterotroph is clear i hope that in order to provide the food for the large population we have to understand about that what is required student here these are the source of the food i think it is clear to you plant animal plant makes their food by their own that is process the process is of photosynthesis and that's why this plant is called autotroph animals are heterotrophs why because they are dependent on the plant so whenever we are just doing the rearing of this cow rearing of the hen so that is a basically called animal husbandry means we take care of the animal jab hum kisi animal ka uh, dekhbhal karte hain that is called animal husbandry today you have seen pigries where we are just going to take care of the pig poultry farm where we take care about the hen okay dairy farm that is the cow we are just taking care of the cow we are washing we are giving food we are uh, giving medicine whatever is needed students that we are giving that is the animal husband so i hope that student the source of the food are clear if i talk about this function of the food so that is many things comes in our mind that is a function of food students if i talk about the function of food so in our mind it comes what is that it gives us energy students food gives us energy and this we are going to utilize utilized for main metabolic activities so this is the one thing if i am talking about the it carry the carries carry the various body functions students if i am talking about this thing energy whenever you are just ready to do the work that time you are little bit tired and that you need a some different type of the food item so this is what is the use the function of the food it gives you the energy once you get the energy students then you are ready to do the work utilizing to the many metabolic activities whenever it is required for that energy that time also vitamin minerals that is also that carry the various body function body is body functions if i am talking about the respiration if i am talking about the digestion if i am talking about the excretion etc so this is students whenever i am talking about this thing so that is the function of the food so here students you have seen about the food function and that is a different different type of the activity in the base students if i talk about various body function means that respiration when we are going to inhale or exhale that time we require the energy if you are not having a sufficient energy then what happens we cannot breathe 
digestion if you are not having a proper energy you can not digest food students here are many things uh, if i am talking about uh, crop so the crops is here before the crops you have seen uh, agriculture agriculture is made up with the latin word agri and culture students i want to tell you about that agri agri means that culture so this is the latin word agri means field agri means field and culture means cultivation culti students here you are seeing so if any work which you are doing in the field and doing the cultivation that is called agricultural agriculture okay if i am talking about that another thing so agriculture agriculture is a uh, agar and kaltra this is the two word it is made up agar means field and kaltra means cultivation second thing is students i want to tell you about the horticulture horticulture is also made up with the latin word horticulture horti that is horti culture horticulture it is also the latin word latin word it is made up that is hortus hortus and culture hortus means that is a garden culture means cultivation right cultivation so whenever the gardener gardener students is doing the work in the garden for the cultivation work that is called horticulture and here flower ornamental plant so plant the gardeners is going to rearing of this plant jab gardeners jo hai aapke baagwani mein chote chote paudhon ko seva karta hai and he just going to take care that is called horticulture students season by season there are so many changes happens so gardener is working into your garden and just taking care of the ornamental plant so plant and the flowers so you have seen students what are the difference between the horticultures and agricultures both are from the latin words agar means field culture means cultivation Hortus means that is the garden, and the cultural means that cultivation. So, in the garden, if you are doing the work of cultivation, that is called horticulture. And in the big field, you are doing the work of the production of the crops, that is called agriculture. Thank you, students. I hope that you have enjoyed in this lecture about the some basic terms, whatever we are using into this chapters. अगर आपको ये वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो इसको सब्सक्राइब करना नहीं भूलेंगे बेल आइकन दबाना और इसके बाद लाइक करेंगे और शेयर करेंगे और अगर कोई भी डाउट्स इस चैप्टर से रिलेटेड आपको रह जाता है तो आप कमेंट बॉक्स में जरूर लिख कर देंगे उसका आंसर हम लोग अगले वीडियो में जरूर बताएंगे थैंक यू एंड अ गुड डे स्टूडेंट्स बाय